Welcome back to Tidbits of Faith with Father Romans. We're here in St. Bridget Church, and the man next to me is always next to me at Mass, or almost always, I should say, and that is the newly ordained Deacon Gerald Moss, our deacon here at St. Bridget of Sweden Parish. A familiar face, hopefully, and now you have a name to go with that face, or now you have a face to go with the name if you knew the name, but not the face. Deacon Jerry, welcome to our program. This is a opportunity for our parish family to put names to faces, faces to names, get to know a little bit about you, and then you can share something about the faith that gives you inspiration. So now I just ask if you'd like to share with our parish family a little bit about who you are and your family. Okay. Well, uh, I am married. I have a couple of children that are in their 30s. Uh, I have a grandson. Uh, my wife is retiring as a um, administrator from New Haven Public Schools. She's retiring at the end of June. Um, I have been officially retired from my last job since November, so I've come up with a lot more time to do things here at the parish. Um, uh, and we have more to give you, don't yeah. you worry. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, this morning at a meeting, uh, one of our staff members and I were talking about, oh, Deacon Jerry could do that. So be, stay tuned okay. for more. Yeah. Yes, and tell your wife if she's looking for a little something to do in retirement that we'd love to have substitute teachers in our school. So that's a shout out to you. We'd love to have you as a sub. And Jerry, what is it, Deacon Jerry, excuse me, yeah, what is it right. about the faith that gives you inspiration as you're walking this journey as a, a husband, a father, a grandfather, and now a deacon? Yes. Well, the, I find a lot of my inspiration from the congregation and from the joy in the Mass. I get a lot of energy, I get a lot of um, passion from the, from the liturgy itself, and it's really incredibly motivating for me to look out and see this congregation, especially with the number of children, that it really gives me this idea that what I'm doing is important, it's helpful, and I try to live up to that. Well, thank you. Yes, it's so important to uh, get a full understanding of the church when you come to the Mass and see all the different ages of people, mm -hmm. from young to older. I don't like to say old. <laughs> and certainly we have a great number of young families who are faithful to Mass and bring their children. Many of them sit in the front so that they uh, can teach their children about the Mass, and I think that's great. So often people get aggravated or get nervous, I should say, about their children making noises and stuff, and we love it. We love it. Father Yates... Deacon Jerry, Deacon Wilbur, myself, we love it because it's a sign of our future and we hope that you will let them be who they are and come towards the front, let them see things. As they see it, they'll understand more. And so until next week's edition of Tidbits of Faith, we ask God's choices, blessings upon you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go take on the day, everyone.